Hey there, it's Mary Ann Pack, your spiritual guide. And today I actually pulled two cards that I wanted to share with you. And it was so obvious that this was a message from Source that we apparently needed to talk about and it uh, is definitely preaching to the choir for me. So it's one that I pulled not too long ago. Um, I always shuffle the deck and then and then uh, wait for Spirit to give me direction as to what card to pull. So this first one um, is from the Wellbeing uh, Abraham Hicks card deck. And it says, oh, it's this one. And the front says, my future isn't about my past. Life is only about now. And the back says, nothing that has ever happened has anything to do with now, unless in my now, I continue to think and speak about it. Fresh new thoughts today will always give me a fresh new experience. And the second card, uh, I was finished meditating and I just felt a really strong urge, an impulse to pull another card from the Law of Attraction deck. And so I know that my inner being knows where I am, knows what I want, and knows where how to close that gap onto um, so that I'm blending with the whole of who I am, me the physical and me the spiritual. So I had a real strong urging to um, pull uh, the second card from the Law of Attraction deck, and uh, it was the 16th card. That just kept popping into my head. So I counted out down the deck 16, and it was this one. And it says, my creative power lies in this moment. The back says, whether you are thinking about something happening now, or something that happened in your past, or something you would like to have happen in your future, you are doing the thinking now. And it is in this present thought vibration that the law of attraction is responding to. Therefore, your power to create is now. And I thought, oh, Source, you are so awesome. Two cards from two different decks that keep telling us that our creative power is now. It's not about the past. It's not about the future. We're all doing our creative work in now. And I thought this so apropos because uh, a few days ago, I, um, I, when I went to bed, I didn't do my normal appreciation. I, my sleep was disturbed. The cat decided he wanted to go outside and I had just dozed off. So it woke me up, it disturbed me and I was aggravated. And um, I thought, oh, I haven't, you know, I, I, I just went on to bed, went back to bed and I forgot to do my appreciation. So I already had that aggravated, um, frustrated, um, feeling like my sleep was disturbed attitude going on. So that's what I was creating for my rest. So during the night I had woken up and uh, all of a sudden a flash of something in my past came across my mind and it was something that I deemed not good or bad or you know I had that judgment on it. And it just started building such negative emotions in me. I was, I felt guilty. I thought, oh, that was such a wrong thing. I, you know, this wasn't a good, this wasn't a good relationship. This wasn't a good um, idea. This wasn't a good decision. And it was just boom, boom, boom. Just thoughts kept pouring in that felt so bad. And I still, I, I stopped myself and I thought, I am creating more of this in my now. And I didn't want to do that. I wanted to nip it in the bud. So 
knowing this, knowing that we are always creating in our now thoughts, I didn't want any more of that negative feeling. Even if it wasn't a situation exactly like that, I was still creating the essence of that bad feeling into my now. I was bringing all that crap forward. And I thought, no, 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 this is not what I want. What I want, and then I actually remember thinking, what do I want? What do I really want? Because I have made it my number one priority to care about how I feel and that I want to feel good. That's it, that's my number one priority. So the thoughts that I'm choosing are because I'm deliberately choosing to feel good to always find relief in whatever I'm thinking about. And I, I um, so I remember when, during that waking out, those waking hours, that waking time, that I actually said to myself, what do I want? And I started going over all of these beautiful, emotional, good feeling words that I wanted. I wanted peace, I wanted clarity, I wanted freedom. I want um, ease and flow and joy and happiness. And do you know what? That just eased me right back into sleep. So it's so important for us to realize we are creating in our now. So depending on how you're feeling right now is what you're creating the essence of more. The universe is always interpreting how we're feeling in every moment. So every moment we have the opportunity to create something different if it's not, if we're not feeling good. Stop and ask yourself, what do I want? If you're feeling bad emotionally, look around for, choose another subject or just start just focusing on really good feeling words. It doesn't have to be on a specific subject. It just simply has to be those vibrational words that you can feel and let it just flood your body and your mind and your spirit. Because we are always creating in our now more life experience and our purpose is to feel more joy to experience as much joy as we possibly can. And we have the freedom to do that because we have freedom of thought. So remember, your life is not about your past. Your life is not about those horrible feeling decisions or traumas or events or anything. It's not about the future, worrying, fretting, stewing. It's all about now. Now is when we create our life. So I would hope that you go and feel better today. Make it your dominant intent to look for things you love and know that you are creating your future in your now. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.